within this interview we're going to have a look at the point of creating ghosts um, this particularly specifically in relation to the point where one have that experience within oneself of experiencing or feeling the presence of someone that had passed or crossed over or died uh, wherein and within the statement of it still feels like they're here or I can still feel them or feels like they've never left so and that experience that one have within oneself in relation to someone that is no more here in this physical manifested reality is an obvious indication in relation to indicating that the nature of what it is that you're experiencing is energy um, as heaven in terms of the dimensions no more exist and within the fact that when one die you die you die which means the you in terms of how you have existed within this world in this reality no more exist so therefore in terms of what it is that one is experiencing or feeling within oneself as um, the one that has died or crossed over or passed is the nature of one's own memory in relation to how oneself interpreted that being that crossed over, died or passed. So whenever you experience the presence of something or someone that died, passed, crossed over, understand the nature of what it is that you're experiencing is in fact your own feelings or emotions as relationship attachment that you have connected through and as memory to or towards that something or someone. So what in fact is being experienced is thus one's energetic relationship within one's own mind that you have connected, placed and stored within and as memory to or towards that something or someone that died, passed or crossed over. And what is in fact manifesting or happening within and as self through re-experiencing or reliving that memory as that relationship, as that experience, as that energy, is that you are reinstating, reconfirming, revalidating a particular specific self personality. Now, in many instances or cases, the um, the one that passed over is referred to as the loved one, and one believe or perceive oneself to experience love to, towards that something or someone that has passed over, crossed over, um, or died, and that to commemorate that love is to hold on to that something or someone within oneself. And then one is apparently depicted or portrayed within oneself and society as this good person when in fact the real nature of what is happening or what's being done in terms of the apparent commemoration of love is one is deliberately holding on to that memory of that relationship as that experience, that energy to feed validate, justify and exist within and as a predefined personality of and as the mind consciousness system that you don't want to let go of but want to hold on to. So one is in fact using a memory of an experience as an energy toward, towards a person 
um, or being that died, crossed over or passed to continue existing within a self-defined personality often as the mind consciousness system and thus the love is actually self-interest. So here with the design manifestation of the construct as experience of feeling the presence of and as a loved one or something or someone that crossed over, passed or died and understanding that what it is that's being experienced as the energy is one's own creation of mind as the relationship attachment within one's own mind consciousness system that was created, designed and manifested to or towards that something or someone. And in terms of assisting and supporting oneself practically within this point is to particularly specifically investigate the relationship that was had with that something or someone within your world, in your reality. And to see what part of your self in relation to a personality was supported um, within accepting and allowing oneself to exist within and hold on to or participate within that particular specific relationship uh, within one's world, one's reality. And in that way, you will be able to identify and source what personality part of and as yourself of the mind consciousness system you're trying to hold on to or regenerate or validate or justify or continue existing as within and through and as the mind consciousness system as an actual personality that you are not willing to let go of and thus the actual sadness that one is experiencing is not even sadness to, towards that something and or someone that died or crossed over or passed but the actual fear that you're experiencing of having to let go of or stop existing as a particular specific personality of mind and this here thus a portrayal in showing you to what extent the self-interest of human beings actually reach um, where we are completely self-deluded within and as our own self-experience of ourselves and that we do not in fact have any real relationship to or towards anything or anyone within this world in this reality um, as even with the death of someone in our world in our reality there is no context to or towards the actual being the only context is using the relationship we established with that being for our own benefit as interest to continue existing within a mind consciousness system in holding on to personalities that we use to function within this world, in this reality, in order to survive in establishing and positioning ourselves in our world, in our reality, to the optimum level of attainment. So suggested when you think or believe or perceive that you are experiencing a presence of a loved one is to know, realize, see and understand that you're experiencing the energy of your own personality that you are holding on to and not wanting to let go of but have defined yourself as and is deliberately wanting to hold on to that personality as self-definition of and as the mind consciousness system through reliving the relationship memory of and as the person that crossed over passed or died and um, to assist and support yourself practically within this process in terms of self-realization in living here in actual real reality in and as the physical in walking out of the mind into actual living expression as breath here is to assist and support oneself to stop energy 
and to actually participate within reality. Thank you.